Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. A snapshot of Finn with Sheila's wedding party incense is Steffi. At Bill's place, Poppy and Bill kissed. She wanted to carry it upstairs, but he decided that the sofa would do just fine. Katie just walked in. She was surprised to see them and explained that she had no idea he had company. She claimed she knocked, but Bill said it was no issue. Bill introduced Poppy and Katie, noting that Poppy is Luna's mother. Katie asked if Bill would come see Will for parents' weekend, and Poppy assumed Katie was that Katie. Katie and Bill joked about who Will's favorite parent was, and Poppy commented that as the only parent, she was the favorite by default. Katie complimented Luna's job at Forrester, but found it amusing that Luna had never revealed her mother's relationship with Bill. Katie inquired about Poppy and Bill's growing relationship, but Poppy revealed that she and Bill had a long history. Bill stated he met Poppy about 20 years ago and they had reconnected. Poppy touched his knee and said she was pleased they had. Katie was astonished to learn that Bill and Poppy had known each other for many years. You could even say that I had him first, Poppy said. Katie giggled awkwardly and glanced at Bill. At I.L. Giardino, Deacon and Sheila canoodled, and he addressed her as Mrs. Sharp. Hope and Finn congratulated the couple. Sheila hugged Finn, telling him that it was even more special because he was there. She clung to him and he stared blankly at Hope. After Tom persuaded Finn to be the second wedding witness on the marriage license, Deacon and Sheila said they couldn't have done it without him. Tom claimed he loved performing the wedding, but Deacon clarified that they couldn't have married if Tom hadn't helped discover Sheila. She joked about tossing Tom the garter, but he claimed he'd gone through that with marriage. Sheila wondered if they would see Tom again. Nearby, Hope couldn't believe she'd come and advocated for Sheila. Hope commented on how nice the reception was and Finn agreed. Hope could tell how much it meant to Sheila that he was there. Finn said that he needed to explain to his wife. He had been ordering pizza under the belief that the wedding had taken place on the beach. Deacon approached Tom and Sheila and asked to remember the occasion. Deacon snapped selfies with Sheila and Tom before Tom took over as photographer. He took pictures of the bride and groom and requested the family to huddle close for photos. Finn appeared hesitant, but Tom persuaded him to participate. Tom took many shots and complimented on the family's beauty. Deacon took Tom aside and inquired where he was going. Tom had a hotel for a few nights but after that, things were a little problematic. Deacon offered Tom a job that included food and benefits. Tom, humbled, confessed that he knew very nothing about the restaurant business. Deacon volunteered to train Tom and encouraged him to think about it. Deacon sent Tom out with two bags of groceries. Deacon approached Sheila, who was accompanying Hope and Finn. Deacon remarked on how powerful it had been to having the kids present, even though Finn had not planned to attend. Finn said that it had been a lovely ceremony. He wished them well, but said he needed to get home with the pizza. Hope gave a troubled expression. Sheila hugged Finn once more. Deacon gave Finn the pizzas on the house, but explained that it was only a special for that day. Deacon yelled to his wife and they left. Hope, alone with Finn, wished him luck in his conversation with Steffi. Hope hoped Steffi would understand, and she thought it was important that their parents be happy. He doubted Steffi would view things that way. Hope suggested that Steffi might. Finn gave Hope a glance, and she questioned if Steffi should be directing Finn's relationship with his birth mother. Maybe that should be up to you, Hope said. He praised her for being understanding. She responded that she was there for him. He also mentioned he was there for her when she had a headache. Hope appeared apprehensive after Finn had departed. Sheila laughed as Deacon lowered her. He shouted, I had to do it. He promised to make their honeymoon memorable, even if it wasn't at the Ritz. First, he had to publish some content to a social media account that Hollis had convinced him to open. Deacon stated that they will post events such as wine tastings and the boss's marriage to the star waitress. As Deacon shared a photo of the newlyweds, Finn and Hope, Sheila expressed her surprise that Finn had attended our wedding. She repeated the term our wedding and expressed her love for Deacon. She and Deacon kissed. Steffi returned to the cliff house after dropping the girls off at a last-minute pool party next door. Steffi assumed the kids would eat there, but Liam stated that he was still hungry. They wondered where Finn was with the pizza. 
Steffi couldn't reach Finn so Liam and she believed he was driving or that Ayel Giardino was behind without Deacon. Steffi questioned whether she should have sent Finn there. Liam stated that if Steffi hadn't intervened, Finn might have attended the wedding. Steffi first disagreed, but eventually confessed that Finn had entertained the idea. For Kelly's sake, Liam begged Steffi to make sure Finn wasn't duped again. Steffi promised to be there for Finn. Finn finally arrived as Liam was about to depart. Liam, hungry, pulled a piece of pizza from the boxes before Finn could even set them down, saying it was one for the road. Steffi asked Finn whether he had received her texts, and he answered his phone was on quiet. Finn looked at Liam and inquired if he was still leaving. Liam walked out the door, claiming he would return for Kelly. Steffi inquired what was going on. Finn said that the restaurant's pickup window had been closed. He went inside and couldn't believe it when he saw Sheila and Deacon there. Steffi deduced that the pair had seen Finn's order arrive and wanted to ambush him. Finn corrected Steffi, explaining that Deacon and Shalia had been shocked to see him. He added that Hope had served as maid of honor and Tom, the man he'd informed her about, had officiated the ceremony. Steffi's phone rang. After checking it, she startled and asked what she was looking at. It was a social media post on Deacon's wedding that included the photo he had previously uploaded. The headline of the piece stated, Exclusive. Beverly Hills Pizza Man Ties the Knot. Small ceremony at Ayel Giardino. Bride recently survived being kidnapped. Steffi was upset when she found Finn had left his phone on quiet because he had been at the wedding. Finn sighed, and Steffi instructed him to inform her. Liam entered Eric's office and stated he was confident he'd find hope there. He questioned if she was dressed for a night out, but quickly realized she had gone to a wedding. Liam said that Hope did not have to agree with everything her father selected, and that Finn had also learned a way to say no. Hope replied that Finn had attended the wedding. Deacon took Tom aside and inquired where he was going. Tom had a hotel for a few nights but after that, things were a little problematic. Deacon offered Tom a job that included food and benefits. Tom, humbled, confessed that he knew very nothing about the restaurant business. Deacon volunteered to train Tom and encouraged him to think about it. Deacon sent Tom out with two bags of groceries. Deacon approached Sheila, who was accompanying Hope and Finn. Deacon remarked on how powerful it had been to having the kids present, even though Finn had not planned to attend. Finn said that it had been a lovely ceremony. He wished them well, but said he needed to get home with the pizza. Hope gave a troubled expression. Sheila hugged Finn once more. Deacon gave Finn the pizzas on the house, but explained that it was only a special for that day. Deacon yelled to his wife and they left. Hope, alone with Finn, wished him luck in his conversation with Steffi. Hope hoped Steffi would understand, and she thought it was important that their parents be happy. He doubted Steffi would view things that way.